So when we take a look, you can see that this is one of those Apple refurb boards, and oh my god. If that is not some of the worst resoldering I have ever seen in my life. Wow. Really. Paul, take a look at this U8900 Apple refurb board. Look at, that, look at those solder joints. That looks awful. <laughs> That's garbage. Good thing there's a piece of rubber on it. That's fucking garbage. <laughs> oh, my God. They call that a refurb. And they say that we don't know what we're doing. Holy crap. Look at this. What the fuck is this? What are these joints? What is this? This is a re did you call this a fucking Really? Really? Really, Tim Cook. We can't we we are not authorized. We don't know how to refurbish stuff. This is how you refurbish it. You put a f a fucking rubber pad on top of you you put a rubber pad on the chip so that the chip gets pushed against the machine onto the board to apply so the whole point of this is to apply pressure to the chip because the issue is that this, the the solder joints go bad so if when you tap on this chip which is for the GPU buck converter you're kind of pushing it and wedging it into the board and it'll work nicely again now the boards that have been refurbished by Apple under their program because I'll I'll show you a picture of it here they had a program where they were refurbishing these boards up until December of 2016 for graphics failures. This is what they did. What? This is your refurbishment? Really? Okay, maybe they tried to resolder this one, but like, are you fucking kidding? Oh man, look at that. That is shit. That is so. Uh, that is horseshit. Did you see the little piece of solder there, Paul? Here, check this out. What do you What do you see between the for the pin four and five at the top? What the hell is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> and that's that's leftover flux too. They didn't even clean the shit. Is that even flux? That, it, unless it's liquid damage. Those are the shittiest joints I've ever seen. Does that that looks dry? I bet if you clean that off with a Q-tip, that's dry. Let's see. Yeah, let's check it out. It's peeling off. For any of you that had your board repaired under an Apple warranty program for graphics defects and want to know why it failed again, This is what they do. This is what they do. And if you keep giving them money, they'll get away with it. It's on you. It's up to you. This, something else. <laughs> All right. Let's peel this off. Oh, God, there's an ant on my desk. What the f... What are you doing? Whoa! He's on the board. He's on the board. <laughs> I got to I got to fix that later. All right, so let's remove this pad. And let's make this board proper again. And thank you to Vram Thol. Oh my god. O M F G. All right, we're going to show you the difference between Apple refurbishing and Rossman refurbishing right here. You ready? So, you'll be able to see what it looks like after it's done with the ultrasonic cleaner. see these nice beautiful joints I want to share one thought I fully agree with you that Apple has really awful repair policies and there are many questionable hardware design decisions what about the fact that Mac OS is a superior OS I grew up with FreeBSD 
in Linux, and after 10 years I studied his Mac OS and the overall quality of software and OS design are just unbeatable. Well, the thing that I still use Windows for is the fact that a lot of the, a lot of the audio plugins that I use, a lot of the things I like, like just for example, I have the option to pay for something like Isotope RX-5, which will just remove the noise of my fume extractor. So watch, this is, this is with that plugin. This is without it. With it, without it. It's pretty cool stuff. And, you know, they don't make this stuff for Linux. You know, for a lot of things, Linux, there's just no option, even if you're willing to pay lots of money. Uh, so I get that people that don't like Windows, and I get that there's a lot of reasons to not like Windows. There was Windows Vista. There was Windows 8, the first one. There was Windows Millennium Edition. There was Windows XP SP1. For people that dislike Windows, there's a lot of reasons to use, a Ma to use Mac OS. And fair enough. That's why I don't, like, insult the users very much. That's why, I, like, I don't like some things about Mac OS, but I get why people use it. I have no idea why anybody would ever prefer Mac hardware. But the software I get, there is, that's why I don't say, you know, the stuff that you see in forums where, like, you're, you know, anybody that uses a Mac must immediately be an idiot. I, I don't, I attract a lot of that crowd because I crap on Apple's hardware, but I don't specifically crap on the people who choose to use them because they want something that's, uh, that that will allow them to avoid Windows but have all the benefits of an operating system that's actually supported by companies. And you ask people to say Linux is supported by companies. Can you really find me something remotely close to Isotope RX5 on Linux? You won't. Like, there's no option, even if you're willing to pay a lot of money. And, you know, people will respond with things like, well, it's open source, bro. Why don't you code one? But I don't want to code one. I just want to give somebody a few hundred bucks who already coded it. I don't want to become a programmer. I just kind of want to get my job done. You know what I'm saying? So I get why people use Macs for that reason. But there has to be just a little bit of protesting, you know? Like, get them to stop doing this shit. And the way you get them to stop doing this shit is stop giving them money. Or at the very least, buy used. You know, buy, so that they don't... You know, just stop giving them money for a little while just so that they stop doing the things that they do. That's all it'll really take. Just a little bit. All right, so we're going to toss this board into my beautiful ultrasonic cleaner over here. Show you my beautiful ultrasonic. All right, so we're going to take this board and uh, put it in here. Do you want to buy an ultrasonic cleaner? Go to store.rossmangroup.com. We have cell phone size cleaners, small motherboard size cleaners, and large motherboard size cleaners that will even fit a Touch Bar MacBook Pro. Don't delay. Buy today. With 4.9 stars on Shopper Approved, you can't go wrong. We offer the cleaner in 120 and 220 volt versions. We ship all around the United States and even all over the world. Free shipping within the continental US. These cleaners will take dead boards and make them look like this. And sometimes they'll even work again. Don't delay, buy today. So let's take a look at the after pictures of that Apple refurb board from earlier. So it has been resoldered, it's been fluxed nicely, it's been Bransoned. Uh, Branson E seed in my Crest Ultrasonic Cleaner, and it has been put through the oven to get rid of all of the cleaning materials. So this is what it looks like now. And tell me if you can see a difference in those solder joints from what you had before. That's a spicy meatball.
Yep. Yeah, you definitely need to be authorized in order to guarantee the quality of your repair. <sighs> All right. And on to the next one. This video is brought to you by our sponsors at store.rossmangroup.com. Thank you for supporting our sponsors that help keep us in business. On store.rossmangroup.com, you can find chips, supplies, ultrasonics, flux, soldering stations, and more. With 4.9 stars on Shopper approved, same-day shipping from New York City, and free continental shipping over $30, you can't lose. We even offer free support, unless you're a please bro, live chat, and are adding new products every day. We even got rid of our old terrible merchant services provider that used to decline random transactions for no reason. If you buy today, we'll throw in a special offer that your order will actually go through properly. What are you waiting for? Go to store.rossmangroup.com to get yourself some authentic Amtec Flux. Don't delay. Buy today.